hello guys welcome back to my channel this is shades of Monday. today we'll be taking a dive into how i made this design this freaky friday design so let's start so we drag in our first image now the canvas size is 2000 by 2000 rgb place it in now you come to your um, blow we'll blow it out we'll blow it out just come to your filter blow your gaussian blow as usual let's use 29.1 9.1 okay 29.1 so let's write in write our text we'll be writing freaky friday on your on your keyboard press the number t the letter t rather so let's write the um, freaky freaky friday so you write the um, freaky friday just come to your move to you can drag this in like this don't bother about the color because we'll be, you'll be using a gradient overlay so the for the text it's is a Montserrat um black italic so you come to your double tap like this on your text Montserrat you see Montserrat black italic size 10909 so the space in between the uh, the text let's make it minus 25 this space here if you can't see this if you are like this you come to you on, on your keyboard press ctrl t it will come up see ctrl t it's come up so this one now go to minus 25 minus 25 because it's too wide apart and this one make it uh, one uh, make it 83 the three yes click ok let's center aligned is already sent is already center aligned come like this now you come to your blending options on your fx say click fx blending options on your now you come to bevel and emboss like we did in our previous video for the style it's inner bev inner bevel technique smooth depth 303 direction up size 250 soften zero angle minus 90 altitude 53 gloss contour highlight vivid light opacity of vivid light is 64 shadow mode vivid light opacity 44 now okay now you come to your satin Satin, you have satin, it's the blend mode is overly opacity is 19, distance is 11, size is 71, gloss contour, then invert. Now come to your gradient overlay. You, as you can see, I, because I, I I'd already done this before, so it's bringing it up automatically. So you come, you can see that it's already changed to this one. So I will, let me explain to you. Now the opacity for this one is 100. The blend mode is normal. Gradient for the first one. The location is zero. The color code is E7 B A06. So I'll be dropping the PSD file and the um file I use in the in the tutorial in the in the link below. Just check it and download. It's free. Second one. The location is 25, so the color code is D9962D. Click OK. Third one, location is 53, color code is FFCA49. This one is 77, double tap D9962D. OK. 
then the final one is 100% so location is 100% double tap you see it 885724 click ok then my okay click ok here come to my drop shadow opacity 73 angle 90 distance 18 spread 0 size 27 noise 0 click ok you can see that it's already formed the way it's sitting the, the way you sit in the in the picture so now what we do next is dragging our image our lady image come here now for the purpose of this tutorial i had already done um, a massive work on the lady image i added brightness contrast and then um, camera raw effect to the image to make it pop like this so you click ok so what you usually do next is to try and create a blur around the uh, to create a dark to darken this down area so you you add a new layer like this come to your gradient to here like this gradient to can gently brush up like this you can do it once or twice anyone is is okay so what i want to do next here is dragging our view Dragging our veil. This this is the veil. Dragging our veil like this. Let's flip it the other way. Flip is horizontal. Okay. Let's drag this like this. Yes. I think this is looking nice. Let's tilt it. Looking nice. Something like this. Yes. Now, as you can see, you can see it is it's looking very dull. So what you do next is on your keyboard press ctrl shift a for camera raw come to your contrast increase it a little bit texture increase it clarity increase the A's. you know it's yellow to so make it look more more uh, more more good uh, uh, that's popped a little bit here now come to your filter blow gaussian blow again but this time we'll be using um 8.8 using 8.8 let's make it 8.8 so as usual on your keyboard again press ctrl j to duplicate you can drag this here ctrl t to transform then flip horizontal the same way click ok you see it has already changed to the normal one so you can let's look in like this like this a little bit it's something like now let's work on the small text like i did before so you come here on your keyboard press t tap like this you can see okay let's write shades sorry tap lock on shades of Madi Entertainment, you can see it's very big. Just double tap on the on the text and change the size to five immediately to five. Then color to white. Color to white. Okay, coming. Let's drag this up. What we want to do next is create um, this text. Let's make it look more lively. So, so, so we'll be writing the text in another font. We're coming. Okay, let's use uh, monument. Yeah, I think it's monument. Monument extended. Let's use monument extended. Monument. Monument extended. Regular size. Mm. No, let's make it Montserrat. 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 Montserrat medium. Montserrat medium. Now, the distance between this one, let's make it. One eight twenty. 
enter 2020 as you can see it's looking more more inviting like this so what we want to do next is drag in our overlay so what we want to do next is drag in our sparkle overlay drag it in like this sparkle overlay let's flip it vertical vertically so drag this up like this change the blend mode to overlay on your keyboard again press ctrl j ctrl t now flip horizontally drag it in like this yes so let's add in our final overlay as usual final overlay this overlay here you can flip let me let me leave it flip horizontal yes something like this change the blend mode first to linear dodge add then uh, control t on your keyboard expand we could like this yeah something like this expand yes something like this yes something like this so we've gotten our freaky 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 friday stuff now come to your place here you can drag this in like this drag this in and you can add it like this so finally as usual i had, I had already done this one to save time since i'll be dropping the psd file so i dragged in our images i drew a shape you will see everything here so you can add your own text to it but this is my own text so for this font i used autograph for this so thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos thank you